Today we're gonna to talk about the pre-pitch hop. No matter where you're playing in the infield, first, second, short, or third, you gotta go through this pre-pitch hop to be ready for that play. Now before that, you really wanna keep in mind how, the situation, how many outs you got, what the count is, what kind of hitter you got at the plate. Speed guy, power guy, all of this can factor into your positioning. So now as that pitcher's going through his windup, I wanna see my infielders go right, left, hop. This allows me to be athletic to move left to right. As that ball is getting into the hitting zone, is when that hop is gonna occur. Right, left, hop, that allows you to be athletic. Coaching kids growing up, I see a lot of young kids, especially get back on their heels, hands on their knees. That doesn't allow us to be in an athletic position to react to make a play. You really wanna stay in that athletic position that allows you to give the best opportunity to make that play. So we're here with Tony, who's gonna to demonstrate for us a little bit on that pre-pitch hop and the correct way to do that. As you can see, he went right, left, hop, you can see he's out in front, his gloves out in front, he's in that nice athletic position to, ma to make that play. Big key here is he's on, the, he's on his toes, he's not on his heels. If you start falling back on your heels, you're automatically not in position to make that play. So to sum up a little bit about what we talked about today is the pre-pitch hop. No matter where we are in the infield, this allows us to be in that athletic position. Right, left, hop, as you see, he's on his toes, his, uh, gloves out in front of him. He is now in an athletic position, ready to react to that pitch.